tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Design to Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel and today I'm going to be talking you through my whips and as well as my project plans and some of the bits and bobs that I've been doing to keep myself occupied, distracted, busy. Productive? Maybe. So if you are a returning viewer, hey tribe, what's good, what's happening? And if you are brand new, hey, hello and welcome. <sighs> How are you? I hope that you're all well. I hope that you're all safe and that you have all the supplies that you need. I'm recording this today, April the 4th. Um, it's a big day for me because it's my, it's, Darcy's year anniversary. Darcy was my lurcher who I had him for 11 years and he passed away a year ago today. A whole year and I have been missing him huge huge amounts and even more so because currently the UK is on lockdown so that means that we can only go out for um, food, one shopping trip a week um, and then for one lot of exercise per day and then if you need to go and get medical advice um, and then the only other people that are out and about are the key workers so that is the NHS staff um, our National Health Service is what runs the hospitals so our doctors, GPs, nurses, cleaners, porters everyone is on the front line fighting this battle um, the postal workers, factory workers, um, manufacturers and then call centre workers um, for like utilities and there's just so many people that really are stepping up and helping to keep the UK running at the moment and I just can't say thank you enough to all of those people. Um, other than that, everybody else should be at home, yeah. That's a, it's, a necess it's necessary to keep people safe and also to prevent contamination and so that the NHS doesn't get overwhelmed, but then also 12 weeks. Um, so I just hope that wherever you are, you're safe. I know different countries have got various stages of lockdown and restrictions, and I know a lot of people are face facing, facing issues with income and psychological and emotional and there's just so much going on so wherever you are just know that whatever you're feeling it's okay to feel if you are crocheting all the things that is okay and if you don't want to crochet that's also okay like everybody's coping with this differently for me i'm trying to keep myself focused and relatively busy and productive but I have acknowledged that my concentration is not there, that I don't really want to be focusing on designing or um, complex patterns. I just want to make and feel the arm beneath my fingers and know that I'm stitching and keep sort of occupied. Um, so I did start a cal, a crochet along, and it is for this blanket, which I have called Together. So every day for um, every day that I'm isolated, I am making a granny square every day. And so I am actually on day 18 now, so I need to add today's in. I decided to make it seven squares in width, so a, a week is a strip. And I started mine on a Wednesday and it finishes on a Sunday. Doesn't it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And it finishes on a Tuesday, Heather. You know the days of the week. I mean, the days of the week do seem to be blurring. But there we go. That's the first silly comment of the day. <laughs> it starts on Wednesday and finishes on Tuesday. And I'm part way through uh, week three. So it's Sunday of week three. The reason I think it ends on Sunday in my defence is because I sew my ends in on a Sunday. Today is Saturday, Heather. Wow. Today is April the 4th and it is a Saturday. Tomorrow, April 5th, will be Sunday and that will be this square here and I will 
weave those ends in whilst I watch my live stream from my church and I am really 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 enjoying it so if you have watched a few podcasts back I made this square and it was three rounds and I was just going to make a three round square and then I just felt like three rounds wasn't enough to really focus and get calm so I decided to go with five and I was really toying with whether to just make ginormous squares but I'm not sure how long, as is, I don't think anyone is, how long this is all going to go on and so because I'm adding a square per day, I didn't want them to be too big, I didn't want it to be off-putting or like a burden, I just wanted it to be something that I could enjoy doing every day. So I really like picking out the colours and some of these squares, the colours actually represent the day, um, like how I was feeling on the day. So this one here was last Sunday and it's entirely green because I spent the day sourcing seeds and soil so that I could add to my garden. Um, and then for example, this one is blue because I just felt really overwhelmed and sort of cold with everything that was going on. Um, and then this pink one, that was me fighting back. So they've all got their own little story because I'm weaving like my emotions and feelings in that day yeah each square has got its own some of them not all of them they've got like a representation and then I've also carefully picked the colours so that no colour is touching um, I spend ages making my blankets look like they were randomly put together with like actual fact fun fact I spent hours picking out the yarn and this is a stash buster, so I am completely using stash to make this blanket together. Um, and if you make granny square, whether you want to join in daily or you're just making a batch or you just want to make one off, if you use the hashtag HDDC granny calm, then I'll be able to find it on Instagram. I'm following that tag and then I can see all your granny squares that you're making. I love seeing granny squares popping up in my feed. It makes me happy. So this is the Together Blanket. Um, you can make your own version if you wanted. There's quite a few cows going along at the moment and I will run through some of those at the end for you. Um, so if you don't really feel like making granny squares, there's a couple of others that I've got. Well, one of them's granny squares, but there's another one that isn't and you can do that. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I was speaking to my Patreons last night, my Tribe Stars. I had so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I hosted a Zoom meeting. It's like an online video conferencing software. Um, and a couple of my Patreons were in that and it was great. I actually got to speak to them. So hi, it was so, so cool to speak to Shardine and Casey. I loved it. And I'd had like a pretty grotty day and a pretty grotty week and I had had like some tears yesterday and the day before um not just with Darcy but other things and I really didn't want to show up because I just thought I'm so miserable and in actual fact it was just what I needed and it was great and I got to see their projects um and we had a really good chat and whilst we were on there, which was a three hour little crochet and chat, I loved it. I'm definitely hosting another one. I've already scheduled another one for February 7th. February? What is with my days of my months? April 17th, I've um, scheduled another one for my Tribe Stars. So anyone that is a Patreon, you will get the meeting ID and then you just make a free account on Zoom and then we can have a crochet and chat ses session. Um, we decided that we were gonna be team finishers. Um, and that means that I am going to use this time to finish a lot of my languishing whips. Um, that inspiration came from Casey, who is the newest tribe star. She is adorable. She lives in Canada and she was telling me about how there's groundhogs outside and I had to Google them after to know what they look like because we don't have them here in the UK. And she was just bashing out like 
blanket after blanket and I just thought it's so nice to have a finished article and actually get some enjoyment out of them. Um, and I'm going to just cut straight in and say that she's finishing some blankets that her, I think it was her great grandmother had left some squares and she was finishing them and it's given me like inspiration for two more blankets. So my motivation to get my Languish and Whips finished is to start the um, Rose blanket, which in my head I've dubbed Casey Rose, but I might find out what your grandma's name is or what you called your grandmother, um, and then maybe call it after your grandmother. Like, so I call my grandmother Nanny, so it'd be Nanny Rose, so whatever you call her. It was this amazing crochet square, um, pink with like a rose in the center, and I want to make it so, so badly. So um, Shardine and I, both agreed we would be team finisher and also Casey because you need to weave in your ends like you need to <laughs> so don't be me and eight years later you still need to finish a blanket so we agreed we're going to be team finisher and that means that we are going to finish our whips before we start any new ones um, and we've both Hopefully we've all now made a list of our whips that are ongoing. I have a huge, huge list. Like not, do you know what, it's not actually huge and I don't have any shame over it. So I watched Skein Deer Knits earlier, Ellie, and she was saying how she doesn't want any shame or any guilt like attached to projects. And I like that philosophy, so I, I am taking that on board. But she does have 53 or 54 whips. I'm not on that level. For me, that's complete overwhelm, but then also all the possibilities. I think I'm somewhere around like 15 to 20, which is still a lot, but I'm working with it. Um, and so this is a daily, a daily whip, so it doesn't count. I am going to add a square to this for every day that I am isolating. If it is 10 weeks or 12 weeks or 20 weeks I'm going to keep adding a square. I was speaking to both of the Tribe Stars yesterday and said that um, I think I'm going to make this like 7 by 8 maybe which will be 8 weeks and then I'll start another lot of 7 by 8 um, and then add it to so that it will be 14 squares in width just because I'd rather have a wider blanket than a longer blanket. Um, if say for example this lifts and I've got a, le a row left over like this then I will just um, make a few to fill in the rest and finish it up and just see where we are but I, let's be honest I've got no shortage of stash to go into these squares um, and I'm loving the effect I wasn't keen on it when it was three squares in and I wanted to scrap it but now I'm glad that everyone said carry on because it looks so, so good. Um, the colours are really working, really working together. I also have written a list of projects that I want to start. There are actually quite a few blankets and I want to make a blanket stack too because I've got four blankets on the go now. Um, plus I will have finished some of the blankets from blanket stack one. So that's in the works, though it's quite some way off because as part of team finisher I'm only going to be buying yarn to finish projects um, so for me that is mainly joining colours for blankets but I'm gonna wait till I've got two or three of them to a certain stage before I need the joining colours to make that order um, so I've got the enough blanket part of one of the squares is here I had to deconstruct it I'll show you why in a bit um, I had 20 of these squares. I just need to add to this one again. And then I've got 20 of them. Weave in the ends and I'm going to put them to one side and that's going to be joined in yellow. Don't know what shade of yellow, but yellow. Then I have got my um, two round granny square blanket. Hang on. Oh, and that, all the ends so far are in here. All the centres are going to be shades of pink and a little bit of grey and I'm going to join it in my sofa colour. 
this colour. Um, I think it's going to be the Stylecraft Parchment shade. I worked out that I need like 2,400 squares based off the calculation of my curtain that I made, the two round curtain. And I have just short of 200 under here, in here. I think there's 187 centres. Um, and I'm purely stash diving using all of my pink, though I know I will not have enough to do the full 2000. Um, so once I've used all of my stash pink in here, I have already done some online shopping, window shopping, to work out what colours I want to add to this. Um, so I will get those balls of yarn and the joining colour. And then I'm also joining a load of granny squares together in like a quilt block effect. Um, and that needs a lot of cream to join that, so I'll be getting that. And I might border this blanket too, in white, maybe. Um, and then the only other yarn I'm sort of looking at is garments. Um, but I have a few garments on the go right now. I also have some yarn in stash for projects lined up. So what I'm going to do is do my very best to finish a load of these projects and then use up quite a bit of my stash. I have six huge plastic tubs like this. They're probably like this wide. I've got six of them and I'd like to say that I have reduced it down to like three by the end of this year. So I'm just going to say that my goal for this year is to stash dive, which I said from the outset, but I'm going to try and turn what's going on into a sort of positive and use it as time to really crack on with projects. So I'm still working from home during normal office hours, um, but then I've gained two hours a day because I'm not commuting, which I love. I absolutely love it. But anyway, I wasn't going to go off on a tangent. Let's keep the chitter chatter talk after. I have got some new yarn that I do want to purchase and want some of these projects. I think I'm going to do like um, project bingo and I've seen it on somebody's Instagram and I can't remember their name but what they do in their bullet journal is they write all the projects in and when you finish a line you get a prize because you it's like bingo where you would shout bingo and when you get a full house you get an even bigger prize so I think for me like I might do um, I'm gonna make my rows really short because I need quite quick reward <laughs> for me to stay on on, on course um, so I'll probably do it like three projects in a row um, so when I've completed like my Tetris blanket my a pair of socks and um, writing up a pattern I get a reward and that reward for me will be to start a new project or I think once I've done two lines it might be um, buy a new pattern and I think like three lines will be purchase yarn something like that um yeah so that's the together blanket one of the projects that I've earmarked to get finished pretty quick is this one and it's my Tetris blanket um, and I got this out to do the vlog, my last vlog, which was um, stash, stash busting with granny squares. And then I just realised how close I am to finishing this. Super close. So I had two lines, two edges of the rectangle finished. So let me show you what it looks like. It follows a colour spectrum. I actually started with all of the pinks. And you can find about all about this blanket in my blanket stack video, which I think is by far everybody's favourite video. And also in my last vlog, I spoke about it a little bit in the Stash Buster one. That is so bright. I had two sides left to do, and I this morning have finished this end, this edge. I originally used a 3.5mm hook and I used that to do a couple of squares and my tension wasn't quite right so I dropped down to a 3mm and that's working really well. Um, so that end row is completely done, it's squared off. 
and so it just leaves this one um, and I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 squares left to put on this and then quite a few ends to weave in and then this one is done though I may border it. I feel like it needs a border just to just to say finished, fin. Um, the only colour that isn't in it is white and so I'm thinking of going around the edging in just a simple white border. Um, I just feel like that will really complete it but that will have to wait because I do not have enough white in my stash to, to do that. Um, bordering blankets is like one of my least favourite things to do as well. It's up there with weaving in ends. Just don't really get any enjoyment out of it. Um, I think it's because the rows are just so long but I think this would really benefit from a border. Just a very simple. Then I did think about doing a row of white granny squares the whole way around it as well to really border it, to really frame the blanket. But anyway, 12 squares. Oh, my bracelet's got stuck. Copious amounts of ends. Though luckily I have done blocks and blocks as I've gone along. Um, and then that one will be finished. I can put that to one side. Um, I think I'm going to do on my bingo cards, I'm going to put like Tetris blanket and that's going to mean completing all the squares and sewing in all the ends. And then when I get, or if I do get the border colour for that, I will, and I'm really liking the idea of the white, I will put that in as a new project because otherwise these are never going to get ticked off on my card. Um, and then same with these enough squares I am going to weave in the ends put them to one side and then when I that will be a tick and then when I get the joining colour that'll be a new project again um, and the reason I had to take this off is because I didn't have any of this peach left and so I had quite a bit of that left but I've used it there and no colour has been duplicated in here in like a different area so I took that from this but when I got the yarn out for this project because it was in one of these wool warehouse bags this was in there and it's like a pomegranate colour it's beautiful so I'm going to put that around there and then I've got the white somewhere to put back on it and then I've gained a bit more scrap yarn to go into together because there was leftover yarn for some of the squares in here and I don't need it now. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then my next whip, I think it's going to be my Aran cardigan because I really want to get that finished. Um, so I will show you my progress in the next vlog. Normally I don't do progress vlogs because I'm quite flighty and I flip from project to project and usually there's just there's just no progress to show you. Like normally I'd be like, I've added one square. There's nothing for you to see. So maybe with um, Team Finisher there might be more for you to see, which there should be more for you to see, which is cool. Um, so then the other thing where I wanted to discuss was um, things that I am enjoying right now. So I normally do, started redoing HGDC Hot right now and I will record one of them, but I was just gonna add in here a couple of things that I've been using to distract myself, keep myself entertained. Um, so there's a few vlogs that I've been binging. One of them is Wooly Mammoth um, and that is by Emma and she has a Bedlington Whippet um, and that's the breed that Darcy was and um, Rufus looks just like Darcy only he's got a lot more of the ruffled ruffles as I call him the um the shaggy hair fur and I really enjoy seeing the little snippets of him and I love seeing what Emma makes um, and she 
dyes all of her yarn and it's all natural and I've eyed some of her stash up to purchase at some point when I win myself a prize. Um, so go and check her out. She's in Ireland as well, she's not too far from me and she's got a cool accent so definitely have a look. And then I've started watching um, Crimson Stitchery. I watched like half of one of her episodes this morning but already loving what I've seen so I'm going to be subscribing to that and binging that without a doubt um, and then other things I've been watching check out Blueprint Academy it's BLU print um, it's like an online crafty academy and they have got loads of classes for you to learn different skills such as grading one of the ones I'm watching um, crochet cables like whatever you can think of is probably on there and usually there's a price tag attached but at the moment the amazing people from blueprint have made the services free so you can access all of the videos i think it's all of them well there's so many there you're not going to get through them anyway so a huge amount if not all of the classes are now free until the 16th of april so go and check that out and learn a new skill or just it's just nice to watch somebody discuss how they make something and so I'm getting a lot of value from that to the point where actually I may end up being a subscriber to that as well um, and then I'm also Patreon for quite a few people and it's just really good to see their posts come through and I know that different patrons have been hosting the crochet, well, knit nights, because I mainly follow knitters. Um, but where you can, if you feel like it, get involved in YouTube live sessions, um, Zoom sessions. We might be all separated at the moment, but we are all in this together. And last night really did boost my spirits in terms of being able to talk about projects and a little bit about what's going on because it is on all of our minds but then also just to be able to encourage each other to provide support and it was honestly just so nice to chat to other people who really appreciate crochet and for them to show me what they're working on because I love my YouTube, love it because everybody comments and there's that interaction but actually talking to somebody was, I can't even explain how much I love that um, so there'll definitely be another Zoom night from me and I know there's many, many other um, creators that are also doing them as well. And then other things to keep me occupied. I've been doing yoga, not daily. I had grand ambitions it was going to be daily, but uh, <laughs> here and there. I think it's been every second day, which isn't too bad. Um, I've been doing yoga with Adrian. She's got like a mil subscribers, you'll easily find her. But she's got loads of different sessions from 10 minutes up to like a full hour and just pick one and do one. I always think I don't have time, but whenever I just do it, I feel so much better. I can feel like my body relaxing, I can feel the tension melting and I hold my breath a lot, I really do. And I just feel like I can feel myself breathing again and yeah if anybody's got their own ways of coping then just comment them below whether that's making projects or baking or cooking or whatever it is I wish one of mine was cooking I hate cooking and the fact that I'm home I feel like I'm always in the kitchen so I definitely need to start bulk making meals like I normally do and then I can just eat them as and when um so that's my whip review right now Tetris, together, enough, and then next time I will show you the pair of crochet socks that I've picked back up that I'm going to crack on with, um, especially because now I'm home I want more lounge wear to wear, um, and so cosy socks, pyjamas, um, and like more loose fitting items, but then I don't want to just look like a bag lady all day like I really enjoyed putting my makeup on today um so I have been eyeing up some sewing patterns so watch this space I think I'm gonna make it like a, a bingo 
um, prize to order fabric and a pattern plus I have fabric and a pattern waiting for me as well so uh, yeah hopefully I'll have lots to show you soon um, I will be back next week with another vlog I have planned what I'm going to record but I now can't recall what is on my plan so it'll be a surprise for us both um, Tribe Stars Thank you so much for last night. Tribe, thank you so much for your comments and all your love. I appreciate everything that you do to make sure that I'm okay and I hope that you lot are all okay. And I am going to sign off for now. Did I tell you that I'm planning on doing this blanket as well? I don't think I did. But that's gonna get ripped down. I'm just gonna rip it back to the granny squares and re rejoin them all and take off a huge amount of this border. I think this is why I hate borders, because of how many rows that border is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows. Do you even need to? I'm going to be taking back a considerable chunk of that. And if the yarn is salvageable, I could use it to join another project. So that's also in my whip list at some point. This is the big one I'm tackling for now. So I really hope you've enjoyed today. I will see you again soon, wherever you are, take care and comment below all the things that you're doing or that are just simply providing you a little bit of peace or joy in your day. And key workers, I salute you. Thank you so, so much for all you're doing to keep our world ticking. See you soon, tribe. Look at that.